RetroPie Retro Gaming on the Asus Tinkerboard? Yes, please. Crash has released a stable build of RetroPie. And uh, yeah, it'll play these classics, Neo Geo, everything else. But a lot of single board and Android uh, cheap computers will play this. But then it comes up to uh, and, and Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, and PSP. So let's have a look for ourselves because the future is bright. And this gets me excited to what the potential is. So without further ado, have a look for yourself. So here we are, this is Crash's Retro Pie on the Tinkerboard base image. This is version 1.0.3, stable image from Crash. And uh, they've been working on this for a little while now. This is their custom theme here. I've installed some PSP games, PlayStation, some Sega CD, Super Nintendo, uh, and some arcade games. And uh, first off, controller's working really well. Here's some of the features on this particular image. It has auto expanding on first boot, so whatever SD card you use, it's easy to do. Uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled Samba sharing. By the way, for those of you wanting to do uh, Wi-Fi, you have to set it up through Armbian config. Um, you also have the bezel project. You also it comes pre-installed with background music and a switcher. And everything else you would expect with this standard build of uh, RetroPie. Their custom theme does come with Rycast, and uh, you can install more emulators and things like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you some, some footage. This is going to run PSP, Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, and PlayStation better than the Raspberry Pi 3. The Raspberry Pi 3 plays PlayStation fairly well, but if you're overclocking and you're playing for hours on end, that is kind of a, a strain on the Raspberry Pi 3. So here you are, we're in a game, Neo Geo. As you see, it runs really great. Now there are gonna be systems like TurboGrafx-16 and PC Engine, which if you go on the forums, people are having issues because those weren't pre-configured in the emulators.config file. Um, and then so what you need to do is, it's just like building a fresh image. You, you may need to go ahead and uh, install those folders and install those config files. Uh, so like I mentioned, it is a base image, and it's not preloaded with games. You do have to get your own games on here, but it's uh, fairly easy to do. Now, um, so here's some Neo Geo action. So this is a base image, so you will need to transfer your ROMs, but the Tinkerboard does have Wi-Fi. It also does have USB, and it has um, an Ethernet port. So transferring ROMs should be fairly easy. It's just drag and drop, just like you would any other RetroPie image. As well as creating the image, the same thing. Just download the file, uh, write it with Win32 or Etcher, and then just boot it right up. It should prompt you to configure your controls, and you should be rocking and rolling. Uh, there are uh, a few pre-made images on pre-made builds, but for the most part, you're going to have to build your own for now. I do think this base image needs a lot more work on it before uh, people start pre-building images for it. I think the next stable version of the base image should be used, but um, you know, I think there is a demand for one for this as well. So here we go. We played Super Nintendo. We played Neo Geo. Let's play something a little bit more advanced. Here's the Rycast emulator playing Dreamcast. All I had to do was set up my controls in Rycast by going to RetroPie Setup and then Rycast and then Configure Controller. Fairly simple task. Um, and as you see, it plays pretty good. There's a little bit of graphical glitches on it. That's just the emulator though. Um, but otherwise, it plays really great. I'm then going to show you um, some Nintendo 64. We're going to play first off is Killer Instinct, which definitely lags on the Raspberry Pi 3. And then we'll play Goldeneye, uh, both with sound, so you can kind of see the music and the sound as well. Then we're going to go into PSP. PSP, you should see on the screen whether I'm on 2X, 3X, or 4X. Um, and you can see the performance on those, but I'm very, very pleased with the PSP. And that makes sense because that's going to use the graphics card a little bit. So, uh, really good performance there. As far as the Odroid versus the Tinkerboard versus the Raspberry Pi 3, the Raspberry Pi 3 wins with software. It's more mature software, bigger community. So a lot of things are optimized for the Raspberry Pi 3. So even though it, it it's the least best as far as performance, it has great software. I would put the Odroid slightly 
you know, better performance than the Tinkerboard, but it's a lot more expensive in my mind. The Tinkerboard uses the same cases as the Raspberry Pi 3, the same power supply. So for a little under $60, that's a little bit cheaper of a single board computer. With the Odroid, by the time you buy the power supply, you get the Odroid, um, especially with the current demand. Um, it's a little pricier. So I do feel that there's a market for all three of these. Um, back to the software uh, kind of comparison, RetroPie has a huge lead there. And then Odroid does have a lead, I believe, from Tinkerboard, as there's just a bigger community right now for that. Um, and then it's just been developing uh, a little longer in my mind. I think they both kind of started around the same time. But from what I've seen, there's just a lot more coming out on the Odroid right now. So it's not to say that the Tinkerboard is far behind. It's just, you know, give it time. I, I think both are kind of in this beta stage. And uh, it'll be see, it'll be interesting to see which one uh, comes out first. So I hope you enjoy this gameplay. I think that's what most people want to see is the performance on these cards. Terminator 2 for Sega CD, what a soundtrack, am I right? So I uh, also played some uh, Sega CD, you saw Super Nintendo, we saw PSP, Dreamcast, N64, and as you see, it performs really, really well. So the potential is here. A lot of it has to do with the coding and the config files and getting it all ready, porting things over. So huge potential, even the arcade system here, whether you wanna play The Simpsons, Ninja Turtles, uh, Mortal Kombat, you know, whatever your flavor is on the arcade, 
um, another great option as well. So uh, I'm really optimistic. Uh, do I think this is ready now? No, it definitely has a lot of room for improvement. But uh, the exciting thing about it is the potential that this brings. Um, and it has a lot of potential. So with all that said, I'm gonna have to give this one a B with a huge optimism that it could be an A plus someday. Uh, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.